You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers that notification gang, RiceGangClothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me, right? Salute to every single one of y'all out there. My guy, Showtime SP, and everybody who watches this content, whether religiously or in passing. Salute to everybody that watched all the recaps that we did this weekend. But Cassidy, Cassidy, I, I knew part one of your interview with ARP. Salute to ARP and everything he's got going on. Uh, Max out, Rare Breed, April 3rd. Uh, the card, all the battles on it. Woo, woo, woo. But let's get into this, right? I knew that your first, the part one of that interview that you did, I just knew something wasn't right. You seemed too humble. You seemed like kumbaya, we are the world. And this ain't the cast that we knew from Arsenal, from Goods, from everything else. We, where is the energy? Keep the same energy. And you know what? I'm not mad that you kept the same energy and you are who we know you, who, who we know you to be. Cassidy. So you had this interview this morning and I watched it with ARP. You know, he's breaking it up into pieces, which is cool. And the things that you said, some of the things that you said had me like, did, did he even watch the battle that he, the previous battles that he has? Does he even know anything that's going on or is he just doing this for hyperbole just to say things that are going to get a reaction from people? So he basically was talking about knowing that goods is not able to rap with him and how he be goods and arsenal bro you didn't win none of those battles and then how we should have had a celebration and been celebrating him for beating this don't nobody care about this like i'm gonna be honest with you not hating on this but don't, don't nobody care about this like that battle nobody cared about that battle at all and then y'all didn't even finish the battle in the same spot like you won versus this but bro Nobody celebrates beating the Minnesota Timberwolves. I'm just saying. So what did you say? Let's 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 play a clip or two. My best, like when I came back after taking 15 years off and beat disaster, it should have been a crazy celebration. This dude was battling every 15 days, and I took 15 years off. Does it like like, like like nobody cares? Nobody cares about a Diz battle. I'm sorry. Nobody's cared about this battle since probably around the time before you battled him. Like it just doesn't matter. Then you said immunity. Um, even when they talk about it now, like even if they do a, a blog about the me and um, Hitman battle that's about to come up, they won't even bring up the disaster battle. That was oh, what? From okay, you beat disaster. Okay, next. Like, okay, you beat disaster. So what? Like, you think that we're gonna? All right. And I know goods can't rap good. Like the amount of figurative language he used, the amount of syllables he piece up, and the shit he talk about is like he could be. Add a 20, like getting other people to write for him, still in a bunch of lines. See, like see, 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 that, that right there. That right there makes me cut the interview off. You saying people writing for people and all of that, bro. Like you don't have no definitive, no definitive proof that this is going on. These are allegations. You are alleging people of having writers and having people help them and stealing and all. Bro, like you battle goods, you didn't win. You battle Arsenal, that was a horrible battle, and you still didn't win. And you're like, oh, I didn't have to bring my 100%. Okay, so when you promote the battle, you got your 100%. When you get paid, you're getting your 100%. But all of a sudden, when you battle, oh, I only gave this amount because it didn't matter to me and all the politics and all the stuff that was going on behind the scenes, like... This is the reason why people react the way that they do. When Cass battles, if he loses, he is the reason why people react the way that they do. When you play the, 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 the bad guy role and, oh, see the thing is, Cass got everything in the world. The promotion, the shit talk, the notoriety, the name, the acclaim. He got everything in the world except the actual battle raps, which is, Unfortunately, the most important thing is what you're lacking. Like he's lacking the most important thing out of all of this is the actual battle raps. I know how this scenario goes. This scenario goes the same way. Cass does all this promotion. He gets all these people hype. He runs his mouth. He talks all of this shit. He loses in the battle and then he's going to say he didn't lose. That's exactly what happens. He's going to lose in the battle and then he's going to say, I didn't lose. What did he say that was better? Bro, what, what, what? You told Goods, I believe, play with the D like a line, pause. That's what you said. That's what you said against Goods. 
what did you say that beat Goods? First round was cool. The, first, the thing is, if Cass always came with what he came with in the first round versus Goods and just like leveled it up some, got a little bit more spicier with the punches and just was in that bag that we know him for back in the day, you know, he could probably, he, it's like how Reed, okay, so look at Reed. When Reed first came back, and Reed is a good example. Of course, Reed did not have the commercial success that Cassidy had. Unfor but fortunately, no rapper, battle rapper, has had the commercial success that Cassidy has had. You can't take nothing from him in that regard. He had a commercial career, he had albums, he went platinum, he had I'm a Hustler, he had Drink In My Two Step, he had Hotel, he had mad records, so you can't take that from him. But when it comes to battle rap, Reed Dollars came into battle rap very green when he returned. Like, he had the old school joints, 40 to the neck and all of that, woo woo woo, Rambo. When he came back, he battled John John the Don, he was very green. He got smoked by John John the Don. He went on to have some more battles that he didn't win. Like, he was having battles and he just wasn't winning because he didn't have what it took to do it now. Like, he was not doing what it takes to do battle rap right now. Reed got more immersed in the culture and Reed started to see what was going on how things was working, how, like, what it takes to win battles and became more so of a student of the game. And then Reed started doing good. Reed didn't change who he was as a person. He just got more in tune with what was going on. Now the battle rap culture loves Reed Dollars. If Reed would have stayed cocky, like, oh, nobody can't beat me. Oh, I'm never going to lose. And saying he won even when he lost, like, motherfuckers would be doing the same thing to him. Same shit. But when Reed came back, Reed knew about the battle rap. Reed knew how to jump in and out of different pockets of flows. Uh, his last battle, I'm put, I, I, I put dirt on the floor. I feel like Briz, I don't want to murder no more. Like, that was crazy. And that was happening at the time where the whole Briz shit went down. Come on, they told Surf, hit his area with 51. I mean, the, the rock splashed over the wave and everything in Nevada fly. He was studying. He knew what was going on in the battle rap game in the culture. You gotta become a student. You gotta kinda know everything. Like, you gotta be a geek to the shit. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is about Cass, Cass is just so cocky and so big headed that this is not gonna lead to nothing good. I hope, I pray, I hope that ARP gets the return on his investment because other than that, this is only gonna go one or two ways and ain't none of them gonna be good. Like, if Cass keeps this level of energy up, he gonna stand in front of Hitman, he gonna lose all three rounds, he gonna jump in front of that camera, he gonna say he won. I, I look at the face off. The face off will be good, cause Hitman talk his shit, Cass talks his shit. That'll be good. But when it comes to the actual battle, it doesn't seem to me, in part one, I was like, Cass might have learned a thing or two, you know what I'm saying? Cass might have learned a thing or two, he's probably come back around, but nope. Nope, 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 nope. He is who we thought he was, and we are getting the same person all over again. He said, and I quote, it should have been a celebration after the Diz battle. The battle that nobody really can <laughs> like, bro, you beat Diz. Whoop do you fucking do? Hitman is better than Diz. Hitman is better than Goods. Hitman is better than Arts. Did you think of that yet? You ain't think of the fact that. Hitman is the best out of all of the people that you face since you've been back. You didn't, you, you didn't, I guess nobody fact, nope, nobody's factoring in that. I don't know why your advisors ain't forewarn you that you're facing the best person that you've faced since you've been back. Hmm? Yes, it's a rare breed of entertainment car. And I get it, you know, Cass starts talking about all the politics and the shit behind the scenes. Like, if you're going to speak, like, lightly through that you got to kind of like detail it more you know what i'm saying like this is what was going on and shit like that because on a large scale i don't really think that he's understanding what he's getting into you know what i'm saying then when it happens again we the haters and we the we the <sighs> that's why when the battle originally was announced i spoke about it then I'll talk about it now and maybe after the face off, but I, I'm not doing every single day. Like we're not going, this is not going to be Cassidy's channel. Like we're not doing this every day. Like, cause I know where this goes. I know exactly where this goes. And this shit seems crazy. Cause I already know what it's going to be.
it is what it is. Uh, they got some other battles on the card. Uh, the Jag versus O Red should be good. You got uh, Sirius Jones versus Big K. You got uh, Show Off versus Rosenberg Raw. That should be another good one. I don't have the whole, I think that's most of it right there. It might be another battle or two. I don't remember them all offhand. Please, if you're on the card, don't start making blood. Yo, he tried to forget about my battle on purpose. I see a nigga go live one time for like a whole hour, just hot, mad. You act like you forgot my battle, son. You forgot my battle. I don't watch your channel, but you forgot my battle. I was like, man, fuck this nigga. Like, why are you mad? Don't be, if you don't watch me, why are you mad that I ain't talking about your battle? <laughs> Shit's crazy, man. But other than that, man, salute to the subscribers. That notification gang. RiceGangClothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. Salute to my guy Showtime SP and everybody who watches this shit, whether religiously or in passing. I'm gone.